Hi guys, it is Sunday, April 22nd. This means that we have eight full days to work on the van and one day to move out of our apartment because we are moving out on April 30th, which is Monday next week. Um, so, not that much time left again, but yeah, we will try to make it work and to finish everything. So I just thought I'd show you the kitchen um, one more time because that's what Jordi worked on yesterday. Um, so here we have the entire countertop. You can see that we do have quite some uh, working areas like there and this entire area. So that's I think that's great. It's quite a large kitchen. Um, and then we have the tiles here which is a splash back for the stove. Um, and uh, they I think again they look amazing. And they will just match with the wood burner frame that will go here. Um, and today, I think at around 6 o'clock, we will start um, filling in these uh, gaps in the middle. Please tell me what they're called in English. I don't have Google Translate on hand. <laughs> um, so that's what, we'll doing, what we'll be doing tonight. Um, but I thought I'd show you what um, the plan is for the kitchen here. But also what Jordi will be doing today over uh, in that corner. So as you can see, the uh, countertop just... Uh, overlaps with the frame uh, a little bit and that's because we will have um, a wardrobe running up until that uh, white line there um, but we will have some small cabinets here um, that will uh, hold our uh, uh, dried herbs and spices so that's what will go here and we thought that it would look great to have that countertop running into the uh, ledge there um, then we'll obviously have a sink here with a tap or faucet, um, so that will run up from out that water tank, and then we'll have wastewater running up into that, uh, running down into that wastewater th water tank. Um, this will be our four, four burner stove, so that will be um, quite large. But we have never had a four burner stove ourselves. We always had two induction cook plates, so this is just something that we wanted. It was either an oven or uh, for a burner stove so that's what we went for and um, yeah I think it would not have been an option to have an oven and to have a sleek uh, edge here in the corner um, because the, the uh, fridge always also runs up to here so I have no idea where that would have gone um, so yeah and here we will have a regular size fridge which is the uh, Dometic CRX 110 which also has a good freezer compartment which is great for the dogs again because they eat raw um, so the kitchen is starting to take shape. I think you already also brought the uh, door that we'll um, insert here uh, down as well. So I think we'll have a door uh, after today because we also bought some hinges. Yes, today I do know the name of those things. Um, so, and um, this part is probably what Jordi, what Jordi will be working on. So that's the structure around the toilet. And um, I think that will be put into place, but also... Um, he will uh, install some wood around that to um, make this structure a bit more um, sturdy and that will be covered with um, a sheet of underlayment uh, thickness of the one that you see there and that's just um, for us to stand on um, if we want to sit on the sofa and the area behind that we will make lower so that we can have the, our feet in a good angle. Um, we already have a sheet of wood of ply I think that will go uh, underneath this part of the frame and that will have a hole here so we have a cabinet on top of that water tank um, so we can stuff st stuff in there like probably our pillow uh, pillows and stuff um, that we use during the night we can stuff in there um, during the day um, so you already will work on this entire area today and I hope that we can film some stuff so that you guys can actually see what we're doing because yesterday it just wasn't possible Yodi was just look, uh, looking after the dogs and I wasn't here but um, it was also so cramped in here that he couldn't really uh, use the tripod but today we cleaned up and um, everything is much more neat so we can have that tripod um, at the side of the van and uh, so set that camera up so you guys can see everything that we are mainly Yordi will be doing today so um, yeah I will be um, selling some stuff, uh, we have quite some stuff left, uh, things that we did still use but that we are now like okay we have to get rid of them because otherwise we'll just <laughs> be left with stuff that we can't use in the van and have a full van when we pack up to leave. So um, yeah I'm selling most of that and I think in a few days we will sell stuff like our sofa and um, 
yeah, it's going to be, um, there are going to be some big changes uh, over the next few days, but um, yeah, we are very excited. So um, yeah, we're happy to take you guys along and uh, I hope that today's video is a bit longer than yesterday's. Okay, and let's get started for the day. It's now early in the afternoon, Jordi is just off to the store, but I thought I'd show you what he's been up to this morning. So this is the frame that will hold the toilet, and um, but this will also support our feet once we climb up on the sofa. So um, he has added three additional support beams here, uh, as well as a piece of hardboard to just finish it off at that side. And we still have that left, so that was perfect fit. Um, and he's now been working on a cabinet that will go under here, um, so it will be up until this uh, ledge and above the water tank. The water tank will be uh, scooted back over there. Um, so he has cut quite a few pieces for there and also some pieces. These two which will go up um, over here um, so that they create both a piece for us to stand on as well as a um, shelf for the cabinet here. So that's what he's been working on and it's taken quite a while um, because it's quite difficult to fit everything in such a curvy and um, yeah wonky fan basically but um it's going well and mojo is here as well she's joined Jordi for the entire day already um venus was here as well during lunch but she still spends some time in a crate after she's had food so that's why she's not here all the time um but your uh, mojo is really enjoying the nice weather she's in the shade um but it's super hot so it's better for her not to be in the sun but uh, she she really enjoys this A few days ago we tried to start working on the wardrobe but we made some mistakes and um, two of these side panels that we made we had to discard basically because um, we ruined them and took off too much but Jordi just worked on one of these panels and it looks amazing and it fits perfectly so I thought I'd share how he did that. He basically took this piece of underlayment and um, put it straight up to that wall and that was without this structure because obviously the that sheet of wood would never have fitted um, and then he measured the distance from the wall to the uh, panel at very short increments so we had all of these measurements written down on on this panel and then he um, made lines at that distance and then uh, drew along that line and um, yeah then he cut and it really fits perfectly so that's definitely uh, something we would recommend to do um, if you don't want to make a template because that can be very difficult and time, time cons consuming as well so um, yeah it looks good it is quite difficult to explain how we measured that exactly so tomorrow we are making another wall uh, that will divide the wardrobe again so that we will show exactly so how we measure and draw a line and then cut the uh, piece to size so um, what I just said probably doesn't make sense or doesn't really um, help you out at all so tomorrow's video will probably show that so here is about to fit the uh, area surrounding the toilet and going to fix that into place as well as that wall there that will not be painted indoors we'll all do that in the van because it's way too difficult to keep building if you have to paint something a few layers because a uh, coats because that will be done indoors and then you miss that wood for two days so um yeah it's just going to be painted indoors here but um yeah so that here will be um in the area on which we'll rest our feet and that here will be a cup uh, a cupboard or um, so some extra space that we can access once the bed is in the sofa position. It's now 6.30 and an hour ago we packed up the van we, because it was supposed to start raining and supposed to have thunder but it didn't. Uh, so we packed up the entire van, went inside and then saw that it wasn't raining at all. Um, but it's supposed to start raining any second now, <laughs> no idea when it's going to start. But it means that we can't continue working outdoors. Um, but Jordi has made quite some progress on the uh, wardrobe and on the area around the toilet and I think that tomorrow we might be able to finish most of that area so that will be the entire wardrobe and uh, the area around the, uh, the toilet uh, so that should be fun
and we will show you how we measured that wall in the wardrobe because I know that for many people that's a very difficult part to work uh, on and I think this was a well a little bit tedious but quite an easy way to measure it out so um, yeah we hope to show that in detail tomorrow um, but other than that that was it for today and thanks for watching again and see you again tomorrow